What's up guys, it's Jeff Dobson with J. Richard Photography. Uh, super excited for this video for you today. We're going behind the scenes of one of my recent weddings. Um, it was such a cool wedding. It was out at Pretty Place um, Chapel uh, here in Greenville. The most gorgeous scenic, gorgeous scenic views you, you could ever imagine for a wedding normally. Um, on this day, it was uh, incredibly cloudy, which as photographers, of course, we love. Um, but what we ran into once we went way up on the mountain was that we were actually in the clouds at that point. And so what would normally you know, look like this actually wound up looking like this. So anyway, I hope you enjoy coming along with me. Um, every photo you see was shot on either the Canon EOS R or the Canon EOS R6. Um, every photo I show, I'm gonna show all my settings. Um, so you'll see what those are, but definitely down in the comments, if you got any questions about how something was shot or why I chose a, a setting, uh, I'm happy to answer those questions for you. Um, and I'm gonna watch along with you and I might stop here and there and tell you kind of what we saw, what were we looking at there. And uh, anyway, hope you enjoy. All right, so at this point, I've already, you know, seen the couple, said hello, kind of started getting the game plan together, and then I like to start with the, you know, the details. Uh, really like to start out with the dress. Um, you know, I try to do a wide shot, a medium shot, and then kind of a tight shot of everything. Um, and that's what I've done with the dress. I've, I've hung it here um, and shot it with the 35 wide. And then I'll shoot a little me closer up and then we'll really get in there. I'll get in there and really get the details of the dress because I think that looks nice in the album um, to have a couple of shots of the, the intricate details on the dress. Um, I loved how the lamp was kind of throwing some light off to, to the right of the of the bouquet and then the window was filling um, the light, the main fill light onto that bouquet and just all the stuff around I thought really accented the, the bouquet beautifully. Doing the flat lay, um, this was, there was no invitation, save the date, anything like that, so I just used a lot of her details and things that she was gonna be wearing to create the flat lay. Again, using that big, beautiful window light there um, to, to bring it all in, um, bring it all in together there. Um, cowboy boots were a big feature of her wedding. Um, she wore them, the bride wore them, and the bridesmaids wore them. So grab those and, and put them together uh, for a photo for her there. And now we, we moved in with Elijah. He's getting ready. That that window, man, it was it was a good spot, but there was so much direct light coming through that to pull those shears together to soften it up on him. Um, and here I'm, I'm just directing him, you know, to, to turn a little bit more towards me, a little more side light on, on, on guys especially looks good. It's a little more, it can be a little more dramatic um, looking, a little more rugged looking on, on a male. Um, here, got him to sit on the bed. It's a little more relaxed, casual type pose while he's finishing, you know, buttoning up the sleeves and checking his watch. Um, and that's a very common shot that I like to do, just puts him in more of a relaxed state. And then I did have him look up at me for one, just nice looking at the camera, smile shot. Um, brides really like to have those in their, in their galleries as well. Now we've brought in his best man, uh, which is I like to do either the best man, his dad, um, something like that. Uh, work on getting ready. Um, and you can see how I've angled him, I won't like hitting both of them um, the groom's a little closer to the light to the window so he's going to be a little brighter but it still is enough on the subject in the back to bring them into the picture um, and here's still just the photographs of him helping get in the suit just uh, all the little getting ready details This is another shot that I love to always get, right over the best man's shoulder while he's adjusting him. I think it helped frame the ground. I think it's just a, it always it's just a cool shot. A lot of times you get these nice smiles. It's, because the best man's usually someone very important to the groom and it's nice to have them, have them both in the picture there together. Now here I, I'm again directing him how I want him to stand in front of the 
um, window um, and he wasn't quite getting it so I did give him a little touch just to kind of square him up how I'd want um, I, I, I try not to touch people as much as possible unless I mean unless I just have to um, very appropriate touching though I don't you know, I don't like the to, to touches too much but um, now we're moved in um, with bridal party. I like to do individual shots with the groom, with each groomsman, and as well as uh, the group shots. Um, that way they get something independent with each member of the bridal party. Um, and they can have those individual shots um, for them right, to, to send out. Um, and then well, a lot of times they do something smile. funny One, together, two, something like that. Um, and you're going to see... Um, All right, now you can put arm around each other. I'll have them put like their arms around each other, each other um, oh, yeah. as there one we of the other shots, more of a casual look. And I Please always make sure they have button the jacket. That way, there's not that weird pull on the jacket. That cell can happen when you the put pocket. the arm around each other. Well, I'm do with you. Uh, here, we call it the cell phone in the pocket. Boy. something you always have to be on the lookout now for. Be on the lookout for nowadays at, at weddings because no, <laughs> always have the cell phone in the pocket. It just doesn't <laughs> look that great bulged out. All right, guys. Look at that. Look what we turned that backdrop into. My goodness. Look at that. Nice. Isn't that cool? Look at here, I, I showed in the back of the camera the screen. Um, I think doing that a handful of times through the day just kind of keeps the momentum going so they know they're, the pictures are already looking good on the back of the camera. Um, and so showing them that, you know, keeps them, keeps them motivated, keeps them ex excited about what's going on. Um, and now we're just getting the group shot together. Um, just made it a very symmetrical pose with everybody kind of turned towards the groom uh, to draw your focus to him. Very nice. Let me get one with this one. Where are you going? Don't run off. He's not back with the beer yet. All right. There we go. Good job. And, and, all I did there, you saw the cameras change. I, I did switch order, from a little bit wider pose, the, the 35 to the 85 to get in. Just a little tighter on them. Um, here, we're just letting them hang out. I love the look of this, like, mossy lined road yeah. and the trees around them. I thought it looked so great. So, you know, they were ready to drink some, some beer. So we, uh, I just had them go down there. And then uh, the only real prompt I ever gave them was to, you know, you kind of cheers like in the like middle one time. One, like, um, cheers in the middle. So kind of I thought that'd be, though, a, you know? be a cool look. Man, those colors are great that day. Love an overcast day. All right, now we've started with the ladies. Um, we didn't do a ton of like the makeup, hair and makeup type picture just because they were just in the bathroom of the Airbnb and it, you know, it was nothing, uh, not great light in there and it's very cramped all the equipment out. So we decided to really start just with this part. Um, get in, in the rows, really and here I'm, I'm telling okay. them, you know, get your heads real go. close together, and it's just I try to make it funny how close I want them to get together, um, and it and it makes just the most gorgeous image when they when they punch them all together and you get some good authentic smiles, and then they started joking around with each other, and I made sure to keep shooting through this moment because the laughs and just how they were interacting with each other, and you can see that you got some some cool candid shots out of that. Now that she's getting in the dress, we're going back oh, she looked, in mom. front of that bay window. Um, it was just her and her mom. It, it was really nice. Got some good details on the back of the dress. Look over at her uh, mom. In this like, shot with her in the dress. Uh, she's one of those dream brides that's just very comfortable with posing and kind of knows exactly how to stand, how you know what looks great. Um, so it made it, yeah, it made it very easy to pose her. <laughs> All right, Mom, you get in there and start. And they're just still using that beautiful window light to fall on her. Yep. Here we're doing the uh, mom buttoning up the back of the dress. Always a, a very sweet moment. Just something I'm sure she's thought about for a lifetime. Ever since she had a little girl. And here, same idea as 
uh, with the guys. I like to have them at a li- enough of an angle where light is falling across both of them. Um, that way they're both kind of equally lit. Not equally lit, but at least both getting light on them um, in the photos. That way they both really stand out. And you can make out who is both instead of one falling completely in the darkness. <laughs> so now at this point, we're setting up the, the first look. Um, very, one of my favorite moments. Um, I love when they're doing first looks. Um, and a key here, if you're doing a first look shot, <laughs> right there, is to really let this moment build. Um, just let, you know, let the groom sit nice in it for a moment. He, no you know he's no excited. You know he's nervous, anxious to see her. But still, just if you can let that build for a few moments, get that picture of him with her blurred in the background and then get a picture of her with him kind of blurred framing her. He's in the foreground and blurred, you know, and just take your time in those moments and, and just let it build. Um, and then I do like to get a shot with her looking back with him blurry in the background. I think that always makes for for a very beautiful shot as well. But after that, you know, I usually just give her, you know, the cue to go up, turn them around, and just right. now whenever you're from ready, there, I let yeah, turn them around. it just happen. Turn them um, to the left. I don't, don't get mind. involved anymore. Um, I just let them have their moment. Um, there will come a point when you do that that they'll eventually, after they've hugged and cried and kissed, they'll, they'll eventually look at you and be like, okay, now what? Um, but until that that happens, I don't I don't get involved at all. I just let these moments happen and then just capture them for them. such a cool pressure release once he finally got to see her he was so yeah, built up for the day um, and there when he go. saw yeah, her yeah. you could just oh, you could feel, feel it release here we're getting some portraits of, of Nan before, uh, right, before we'll the, right we get to the there ceremony site um, again using that roll that your shoulders back road. just a little bit there we go it was oh, just yeah. perfect so Good. beautiful um, again she was very natural just simple instructions like roll your shoulders back was all she would occasionally need but other than that i mean she just fell right in to posing she she knew exactly what she wanted again shooting with primes yeah, you know we, i was back to get some wide shots showing more of the surroundings and i've walked in getting the closer shots and then i'll show her the back of the screen so that like with Elijah, I want her to see how beautiful she looks and, and get it and feel that much better right. about about the day. Um, and then ready? from there, we move into everybody good. As we did with the guys, the Y'all individual shots with the you. bridesmaids and the group shots. Um, and this group was a lot of fun. They we had tons of corny yeah, jokes to tell and a lot of laughs, and it made for uh, and it made for some really wonderful photos for them. Two baby goats, come on now. Good job. I do. Don't quit talking shit while smiling. Drop your dress. Hey, how do you make a tissue dance? Hello. How do you make a tissue dance? You put a little boogie in it. (laughs) Oh, snap. What's it called when Batman leaves church early? Christian Bale. Uh, <laughs> Next. And now we, we, we've moved to the to the ceremony site. Um, out at Pretty Place, and you can see just how cloudy it was. It, it gave it this like, almost like ominous feel. It was, 
it was very it was a dramatic look that's for sure um and since we were not doing any sort of like reception coverage i did want to make sure that everybody they invited to the to the wedding that i got a photograph of them at the uh at the ceremony um just it was a very small group so the people that were there obviously held a, a an extremely special uh, place in their heart um and so just as uh everything's kind of getting set up and going i'm walking around you know getting the details um you know there there's not a ton um of little details at pretty place i mean there, there's a few but you know um, there's not a lot of decor that goes into the decorating pretty place um, now we're beginning with the the processional family members and the bridal party um, all coming down um, to take their seats and to stay in their place uh, this i shoot uh, two different ways um, i will get wider shots um, at this point i've switched to a 16 to 35 so i'm getting them wide coming down and then I'll also, with the 85, get tighter shots of them coming down the aisle as well. That way you have a little mix there. Um, but I like the idea of the zoom lens of the 16 to 35 because if, like right here, they're coming real fast and I don't have a way to switch cameras, you can zoom in and zoom out. Get a similar effect. Um, of course, not quite as tight as the 35, but, or as the 85, but it still, it still works. Wow, crazy buck. And now the bride's getting ready to come down. And, and, and one thing I did, and I recommend you do too when you're meeting with your couple like on the wedding day, tell the bride to take her time coming down the aisle. She doesn't have to run down that aisle. She doesn't. Have, she's gonna be nervous and wanna go quick, but remind her to take her time, keep her head up. And then I always be sure to get that shot. His reaction, even though they've already seen each other did a first look, you still want that reaction shot excuse me, reaction shot um, of him seeing her come down the aisle. It's still so special. Um, here I step to the side to get a few more shots of him seeing her. Um, sometimes I'll step in behind the bride and get him in between um, the bride and her dad, um, which is always a cool shot too. Here I step to the side to get this because I knew um, how he would be giving her away and doing that handshake. So I wanted to be able to grab that for him. Um, and then... From this point, you know, I, I just kind of work the boundaries um, of the ceremony, um, capturing it from all sides. Again, some wide shots, some medium shots, some tight shots. Um, I think that helps put it all together, especially for building the album out. Um, it gives you that opportunity to, to fill your pages with that and tells the full story of the wedding day. Um, and so, yeah, that's how I'll, I'll cover around mix in between the, the 16 to 35 and the 85 in this case. Um, and it gives you, you know, just the images that you want. Again, tight, medium, and wide. So here's still just, you know, getting shots down the, kind of down the, the line of the wedding party, um, featuring, focusing mostly on uh, you know the expression of, of the groom here uh, from that side 
and then um, I'll we'll work around and, and get that same shot from the other side um, where I'm focusing just on the bride's face. Um, it's, it's a shot that I always am looking to accomplish is, you know, her looking at him with that all loving look and him looking at her the same way with that big smile or that, that loving look. Here I was getting a wide shot, just wanting to show how dramatic the scene looks uh, with all that, with the clouds that have rolled in so much. Man, it, it was amazing. Um, I'd never seen Pretty Place this way, so it was it was pretty special to uh, to behold. Um, just because you you don't get to see it this way very often, um, it was pretty cool. And so again here, looking, just watching, sitting on go, waiting on her to look at him. So then just we can snap and get that that picture, the one where she's looking at him with you know that that very loving look. Um, it, it's one that I know I ch would cherish and I do cherish from my wedding. Um, and so yeah, I, I try to make sure that's included as well. So now I'm working my way back down to the other side to that shot I just got of the bride. I'm now focused solely on getting that picture of the groom um, and looking for just the absolute best expression to deliver in their gallery. A lot of steps climbed, shooting a wedding at Pretty Place. And there are these awkward steps too. They're like, it takes like two steps per step. It's very, uh, you have to be very careful. And so now, um, once you've done several weddings, been to enough weddings, you get a feel for that flow of how the wedding's gonna go and kinda, to me, I wanna be front and center when it's time for that kiss, you know, middle aisle um, when it's time for the first kiss. And so, um, you know, they're going into the rings now. Um, so I usually am gonna try to get, again, wide, medium, tight um, of the ring exchange. It's not the easiest photograph to get, but you, you can grab it right as they're kind of putting it on and then get the other ring a little wider. Um, but from there, you know, as we're drawing in to the first kiss, um, you know, I go ahead and start getting settings, put on more of a high-speed high shooting um, and get my focus, you know, perfectly locked so that we can, so I can make sure I, I don't miss it. Um, that's, it's always been my biggest fear to deliver, to have only blurry pictures of the first guest to see. So it's like, I, if there's one spot that I'm going to overshoot, it's going to be um, during that first kiss. Selfless, and at the same time, we're going to 
wonderfully selfish commitments you can make. And I'm overjoyed to now officially introduce Mr. <laughs> what a dip. First time I've ever had anybody do a dip for the first kiss. That was, uh, that was very well played. I loved it. Huh? They, you could tell they practiced it, worked out good. And then another first for me was uh, she hit him with the, the smeared off ice afterwards, like right after the kiss. i never seen that before. Pretty funny though, so I, I had to rush down, try to get in some sort of. Uh, Get in some sort of spot to uh, get a photograph of that. It's pretty funny. Made for a pretty epic shot, though. Gotta say that. Um, and so then, after the ceremony, we uh, yeah, we just kind of go into doing uh, a few family portraits. Uh, again, basically everyone there was family, so um, you know the. <laughs> You know, there was no real like shot there list needed. Go. It was just kind of right. whoever wanted to group up, there grouped up, and, and, and we went from there. Um, you know, it, it was pretty, pretty easy that way. Um, everybody's real laid back with it. Um, and made it fun. And so at, at this point, we were looking out at the outcrop, the outcropping of rock. It's right past the, um, the altar there, um, and it makes. When it's clear, it's an incredibly um, dynamic photograph to be out there. And um, today was no different. And then after um, getting those couple portraits of, of Nina there, Elijah had this, he he really wanted this shot under the veil um, where I'm under there with him and I shoot it real wide and the veil's just dramatically coming out the camera. Oh, it, it works so good, and you had to forgive the, oh, you're gonna see is my strap here, my GoPro kind of got knocked down to where it was only looking down, so you can't see exactly what I was seeing. Um, but I'll show you, um, but you'll see the finished picture here, and it was just one of those shots that, you know, they had in their mind that um, they absolutely wanted, and it's a shot that I love doing anyway, but the clouds, the clouds in the skylight absolutely took this photo, I thought, to a completely different level. Um, just gave it even more softness to it, um, which a lot of times you don't get, um, which I thought was, yeah, it was super cool. And then the last shot that, that they wanted created um, kind of before they left was one where the veil is draped over both of them and, you know, get a real... Um, romantic kind of very emotional type moment in there um, and I think you get that by coming close to kissing without kissing um, so you get something like that and then I did have them go ahead and kiss for uh, for one or two more um, but it just worked even better I thought um, with them getting real close together like that and made for a yeah made for a great portrait um, anyway, that was their wedding. Uh, like I said, there was no uh, reception. Uh, we, we, we weren't there for reception coverage. Um, it was just more of like a hybrid, almost kind of of an elopement, but with the getting ready parts photographed as well. So it was really cool. Um, but yeah, it was a ton of fun. Um, and I, I'll, I'll have another behind the scenes wedding from out at Pretty Place coming soon where you can actually see what a wedding looks like when it's not in the clouds. Um, but I, you know, gosh, I hope you, you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. I plan on making several more uh, behind the scenes and more tutorial videos. Um, so like it, hit subscribe, and if you think if you know someone um, other than yourself that is maybe wanting to get into photography weddings, maybe send it to them and, and let them see um, kind of what it looks like there. So anyway, I'm Jeff Dobson with J. Richard Photography. Hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes video, and uh, see you in the next one.